What in tarnation is corn sweat? And why is it making Midwest summers feel even hotter in areas in what we would typically call the Deep South even more humid than they used to be? It's intensifying an already intense heat wave, but I do find it to be a fascinating topic. In short, corn sweat is the aspiration or corn breathing the water out into the air as part of its biological processes after it's been industrially irrigated. Just one, as you can see the pop up here, just one acre of corn in the Midwest can generate between 3,000 and 4,000 gallons of water per day just sweating, just respirating, just releasing water vapor directly through their stomata. It's called evapotranspiration, and it's essentially the plant's way of breathing. The Weather Channel and even local areas in the Midwest are putting out warnings about this. You can see the regions that it's spreading to here because it's not just limited to regions with high corn production. We're obviously irrigating the devil out of those regions, and we are just absolutely pushing our corn production to the maximum. They're not just cute little fields. Corn production in the U.S. isn't just like independent farmers and cute little fields. A lot of it is industrially irrigated with thousands upon thousands of gallons of water, so the corn has plenty of to sweat out and evaporate, and it's going to blow eastward because our wind typically moves west to east in the United States, at least broadly speaking, and other states that aren't even growing corn are getting absolutely hammered by the heat and humidity. And it's really just an increase in the humidity is what we're talking about here, sort of the heat index. You know, if it's expected to be around 95 to 100 degrees with the heat index, it can feel closer to 110 and put you closer toward those wet bulb temperatures that are very, very dangerous. And we're not going to be changing this anytime soon because America needs its corn. We make a bajillion things out of corn. We like our corn, but... Um... <laughs> It does have some unintended side effects. I found this particular article to be very amusing and entertaining, and it gives me some perspective on what geoengineering problems would really look like, because our irrigation is causing geoengineering problems.